All right, this lesson is comparing triangle angles and sides. And um, here's what we're talking about here. Let's suppose we have a triangle, like so, like that. If we have a triangle and we know, for instance, that with our vertices A, B, and C, yeah, we know that um, AC is greater than um, BC, for instance. Now, obviously, we know that because AC is the hypotenuse, right? And BC is just one of the legs. If that's the case, then that tells us that angle B, which is the angle opposite AC, so angle B, therefore, is greater than the angle opposite BC, which is angle A. And if, um, say, side AB, let's change colors here, if side AB is smaller than side AC, then the angle that's opposite AB, so from AB, the angle opposite would be C, that tells us that angle C must be less than angle B, which is the angle that's opposite the hypotenuse. So larger angles go with larger sides, and smaller angles go with smaller sides, which I think makes logical sense. Now let's extend that a little bit here to compare two different triangles. If we have two different triangles, one here, and then another one here, Like so, if we have two different triangles and we know, for instance, that angle A and angle C are the same, like so, and that B and D, that side BA and side DC are the same, and finally that um, we'll call this F and this G, AF and CG are the same. Oop, I need a different number of tick marks there. Yeah. Then we know, of course, that DG and BF are also going to be the same. But we also know, without having to have things that are identical everywhere, this, of course, is side angle side, right? For those of you that did the that particular lesson, we could tell that BF was the same as DG based on side angle side because we had an angle in between the two sides. If we know then that, say, say I took away that equality, say instead of being equal, yep, why am I not erasing here? My eraser isn't. There we go. If I took away that inequality here and said that angle C was greater than angle A, angle C is greater than angle A, then that would tell us that DG was no longer equal to BF, but that DG was greater than BF, because a greater angle means a greater side, right? So that tells us that DG must be greater than BF. Does that make sense? Yeah? So it also, of course, works the other way. If, uh, if I were to tell you that C was smaller than A, then BF would be greater than DG. Now, the, the rule that says that if the angle is greater, that means that the side is greater, has a name, and it's called um, the, SS, no, the SAS inequality theorem. And then working the other way, if I were to tell you that the sides are congruent the way we have them marked here, but that specifically DG was greater than BF, or FB, doesn't really matter which way, then you would know, of course, that C was greater than A, working backwards from that theorem. That's the SSS inequality theorem. So instead of just having the, the uh, converse like we've done before, we have the SAS theorem, which compares the angles compares the angles, 
and the SSS theorem, which compares the sides. All right, let's play around a little bit with the example questions and see if we can clear that up a little bit.